Welcome to the Walk Boldly with Jesus podcast. I am your host, Katherine Duggan. I created this podcast to inspire you to walk boldly in your Christian faith. Each weekday, I will talk about scripture and how these verses can relate to your everyday life. Spending time each day with the Word of God is a great way to fortify your faith. I'm so glad to have you along on this journey. Let's get started. The title of today's episode is, Whoever has been forgiven little, loves little. The scripture verse is Luke chapter 7, verse 47. Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, as her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven little, loves little. I usually don't have a scripture verse for these episodes in advance. I usually ask God to give me one right before I write it, or I look at my encounter ministry notes or my prayer group notes. However, yesterday, when I was listening to another podcast, this story from the Bible came to mind clear as day. This is not necessarily strange, because as you know, I sometimes get my episode ideas from other podcasts, like the Big Life Devotional Podcast, the Elevation Podcast, or Father Mike's Podcasts. However, this time, the podcast I was listening to was not talking about this story at all. The story just popped into my head, and I felt as if that was definitely the verse I was supposed to use today. Chapter 7, verse 47, as the main verse, because that was the point I felt the Holy Spirit emphasized when I got the verse. However, it probably doesn't make any sense without the context of the whole story. The story is called Jesus Anointed by a Sinful Woman, and it is found in Luke chapter 7, verses 36 to 50. When one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him, he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. A woman in that town who lived a sinful life learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house, so she came there with an alabaster jar of perfume. As she stood behind him at his feet, she began to wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and poured perfume on them. When the Pharisee, who had invited him, saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who was touching him and what kind of woman she is. That she is a sinner. Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to tell you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people owed money to a certain money lender. One owed him 500 denarii and the other 50. Neither of them had the money to pay him back, so he forgave the debts of both. Now which one will love him more? Simon replied, I suppose the one who had the bigger debt forgiven. You have judged correctly, Jesus said. Then he turned toward the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I came into your house. You did not give me any water for my feet, but she wet my feet with tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but this woman, from the time I entered, has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, as her great love has shown. But whoever has forgiven little, loves little. Then Jesus said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The other guests began to say among themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Actually, now that I'm writing, I can see why this came to me while I was listening to the other podcast. The Big Life Devotional Podcast with Pamela Krim was talking about loving other people yesterday. As soon as she said, do we love others, this story came to mind. I think the point the Holy Spirit wanted me to make is about forgiveness. In this verse, Jesus is forgiving this woman of her sins. The reason she was crying and was washing Jesus' feet with her tears 
and anointing them with perfume is because she knew all of her sins. She didn't come into this house pretending to be anything different. She knew she was full of sin and that she was in the presence of the Lord. She knew she had a lot to repent for, and she knew Jesus could forgive her sins. She wasn't afraid to approach Jesus. She didn't let her sins keep her from coming into the presence of God. She approached him, bowed at his feet, and washed his feet. She humbled herself with the faith that she would be forgiven. Today's verse says, Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, as her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven little, loves little. The person who owned the house was thinking in his head that Jesus didn't know all of her sins. He was thinking if Jesus was a prophet, he would know her sins and he would not let her touch him. What Jesus is saying here is that if she wasn't a great sinner, if she didn't really have many sins, she wouldn't have humbled herself. She wouldn't have sat at his feet and washed them with her tears. She loved Jesus so much because she knew how much sin she had and how great of a thing it was for him to forgive it all. She loved him so much because she had so much sin. I think what the Holy Spirit was saying to me yesterday was that we should be more loving to others because we have been forgiven for so much also. I feel like I'm struggling to get you to see what the Holy Spirit was showing me. And yet I'm trusting what he wants you to hear, you will hear. What he showed me was that we struggle to forgive others when they have done very little to offend us. Sometimes they haven't even done anything to us and yet we don't love the person because we don't like how they look, how they think, how they believe, or how they talk. We judge others so much, and God is saying, Why are you judging them when I'm not judging you? Why are you acting as if you've done nothing wrong? Why are you judging my creations? I created each person. Who are you to judge them? You have been forgiven of so much. I have overlooked so much for you. Why can't you do the same? I love you, my children, with an everlasting love and an unconditional love, and I am asking you to do the same. I know you don't all look alike, sound alike, dress alike, believe the same things, and that's okay. I still call you to love one another unconditionally. I know you can't do this on your own, and yet if you only say the word, I can help you. If you strive to love everyone, I will make your efforts fruitful. First, you must make that choice. You must choose to love others, even though you don't agree with them. When you wish to judge someone, imagine me up in heaven, using those same standards to judge you. Is it worth it? Do you want me to use your standards to judge you? Remember, all you have done. Remember all your imperfections and remember that I have forgiven them all and I ask you to do the same towards others. Spread my love like wildfire. I promise if you start to lead with love, your whole life will change. You will be friends with people you never expected. You will learn things you never expected. Trust me, my children. And start loving more and judging less. Well, I did not expect the Holy Spirit to speak directly to us. Although I did pray for this episode to be his words, not mine. And I did let him know I was struggling to get his point across. So thank you, Lord, for your amazing words this morning. I will end with that because he has said it all. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to bless all those listening to this episode today. Lord, we can't thank you enough for showing up and speaking to each one of us directly. Help us to ponder your words, Lord. Help us to see how we can live into these words. Give us the grace to lead with love. Let that be our default, Lord. Help us to stop judging. 
Help us to love first. Lord, we need a lot of help in this area. We ask you to rain down your love, your grace, and your strength on each of us so we can follow your commands to love others. We love you, Lord, and we ask all of this in accordance with your will and in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to walk boldly with Jesus. I wanted to let you know that I will be celebrating 60 years of marriage with my parents this weekend. Their love is a love of the ages. Not only do they love each other so much after 60 years of marriage, 11 children and countless grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and even great-great-grandchildren, but they love others too. They are a great example of what this episode is about today. They have taught us to love others, even those we struggle to get along with. My whole family will be in town for this celebration and several days to follow. I'm not planning to post episodes while they're in town. I'm planning to enjoy this short time with everyone. If the Holy Spirit wakes me up early to write an episode or creates some downtime to do so, then I will obey. Otherwise, I will meet you guys again in July. I can't believe we could be that close to July already. If you know my parents, feel free to wish them a happy 60th anniversary. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Remember, Jesus loves you, and he wants you to share that love with others. I love you all, too. Have a blessed weekend.